we are gonna make a Sonic costume. We're gonna start with a blue shirt and a blue hat, add some white gloves, blue pants, so it's not gonna be too difficult and we'll be ready to dress up like Sonic. You wanna take a look at how it's gonna be? Turn. Let's get started. Sonic is blue with a tan chest and belly. So I have a long sleeve blue shirt. This is for my son, so this is a kid size. And I have just used a piece of notebook paper to lay it on my actual shirt and sort of figure out the size and shape that looks right based on my shirt. So if you were making an adult size costume, obviously this would probably need to be bigger to be proportional to your shirt. I did use a mixing bowl to trace a little bit and help with some of the rounded edges, but I tried to make it a little bit more oval. So now that I have the size and shape that I like, I'm gonna cut it out of some tan felt. Felt does not ravel, so it's really nice to work with for costumes. You don't have to worry about finishing the edges. Um, so I'm gonna cut it out of some tan felt and then I'm gonna pin it onto my shirt and I'm going to machine stitch it. Now, if you're more comfortable with hand stitching it, that would work fine too. Either way, we're gonna get it attached to the shirt and that's pretty much all we're gonna have to do for our Sonic shirt. All right, I have my chest piece pinned on here. I am going to put it under the machine and stop top stitch all the way around the edges. We're gonna make our Sonic hat with spikes on the back and we'll add some ears to it too. So I have a blue, just inexpensive beanie and I'm making spikes to sew on the back out of felt. Felt doesn't ravel, so it's great to work with. You don't have to worry about finishing the edges. This particular felt is very stiff that I've done the top two um, spikes with, so they're gonna stick out really stiff. And then I've got just some normal craft squares of felt that I'm making the other spikes out of so they will have a little bit more softness to them. Um, I've made a cone shape so when a cone shape is laid out flat it's a triangle with um, a little bit of a curved bottom. These are roughly four to five inches long and about four inches wide so that kind of gives you an idea. This is for a child's hat too so if you're making an adult size you might want it a little bit bigger. But what we're going to do is take these straight sides, fold them together, and we're going to just hand stitch this um, flat edge together, and then we'll attach it to the hat.
Okay, we've got our spikes sewn, so they're a little cone. They're open on the inside. And what we're going to do is just stitch them lightly to the hat. We don't want to attach them too firmly because we don't want to mess with the stretch of the hat. So stitch it maybe across the top and across the bottom, but not solidly all the way around. So you're just going to kind of pick out what placement looks good to you. I'm putting five on mine if you want to put more. Um, I don't know exactly how many they're supposed to be. I just want to give the impression. So I'm going to kind of place them how I think they should be and then lightly tack these on here. So I've got another one attached here. You can see that I've only got the top portion attached. It is attached, but now I'm going to attach the lower section as well so that it'll stay sticking out. All right, we've got our spikes on the back of our hat. So, Sonic does have some little ears, so we're going to add the ears next. For the ears, we're going to make another little triangle shape. Instead of making a cone this time, though, we're just going to fold the front end sort of like this to make a little ear shape. Kind of looks like a, a cat ear. Um, Sonic does have tan on the inside of his ear, so I'm going to attach this tan felt and then fold these little parts in and attach it to the hat. I'm gonna machine sew these two pieces of felt together just across the top, and then I will hand stitch them onto the hat. the extra stiff felt and honestly I'm not sure it's worth it <clears throat> it's so stiff but what I'm doing is taking these little edges and I'm just gonna lap them right together Whew. that was harder than it should have been so I've just got the very edge tack together but then now it will sit up instead of if I make it flat sometimes that makes things floppy so I'm going to do this to the other ear as well and then we'll attach them to our hat
Okay, so I've got two little ears that have some substance to them. I'm going to tack these on top of the hat, and then it'll be ready. There we've got some ears on the front of our Sonic hat and we've got the spikes on the back. We're finished with our Sonic costume. We're gonna add some white gloves and some blue pants to that shirt and hat we just made. Let's put it all together and see how it looks. I hope your costume turned out so fabulous. I would love to see it. Please share with us how it worked out for you and also come check out some of our other videos and make some more things with us. Yeah! And also mm -hmm. like and subscribe. Yeah, so like and subscribe. Thanks boys. <laughs> Alright, go turn it off. <laughs>